Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to another exciting episode of Triple Roaring Radio. I am your host, the Kaiju Conservative. You guys remember Justin Amash, right? Uh, he's the uh, the former uh, Michigan congressman, well, the former Republican Michigan, con- Mich- yeah, former Republican Michigan congressman. God, that was a tongue twister for some reason. <laughs> Who uh, he he ran back in 2011. That's when he first got elected. He was a big Tea Party guy, uh, very big conservative. Supported President Trump uh, in 2016, and then turned against President Trump and supported impeachment. You might remember the uh, the video I had of him being screamed at by a uh, a former a former campaign worker of his actually uh, for uh, turning against President Trump. Well, Justin Amash is back in the news, ladies and gentlemen, and he's back in the news because he has announced an exploratory committee to seek the nomination for the presidency of the United States for the Libertarian Party. Now, I've got his campaign website pulled up right here on my phone. And uh, you can see, look, oh, he's he, he's got that that graphic of himself. He's he's staring off into space, may, contemplating the future of the nation. He's looking ahead and 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 very very uh, very introspective of of the current state of the country today. And the only thing that his campaign website says is, "We're ready for something new, for a government that secures our rights, for equality before the law, for an end to cronyism, for a government that." Fulfills fills its purpose and recognizes its limits for practical approaches based in humility and trust of the people for an honest principled president who will defend the constitution and put individuals first as long as they are from China. Uh, I added that last part, obviously, by the way, Justin Amash has a lot of business interests in China, which is part of the reason why he turned on President Trump right about when President Trump started slamming uh, China with uh, a lot of tariffs. But uh, hey, uh, that's neither here nor there. I'm sure that's just a just a coincidence and has absolutely no bearing <laughs> on Justin Amash's decision uh, here. And then you got a, a donate button. Uh, you got a, a, a an option to join Justin. And that's pretty that's that's pretty much it. Yeah, we, we don't know what his platform is, but we can assume it's uh, whatever Trump doesn't want to do. Um, and so it's probably going to be pretty much in line with uh, whatever the Chinese Communist Party uh, wants him to do, uh, as well as the Democrat Party, which really these days is, is pretty much the same thing. Now, Justin Amash made the announcement on Twitter last night uh, in a, a a little bit of a thread. Uh, it started with his campaign website. It says, today I launched an exploratory committee to seek the Libertarian Party's nomination for the president of the United States. Americans are ready for practical approaches based in humility and trust of the people. And he also says, we are ready for a presidency that will restore respect for our Constitution and bring people together. I'm excited and honored to be taking these first steps towards serving America. Americans of every background as president, especially those uh, people of Chinese background as president. I added that last part, but uh, yeah. <laughs> and uh, Justin Amash was not well received uh, at all by 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 the left or the right. Actually, the right thought he's a complete idiot, uh, and the left is afraid that he's going to split their vote and uh, end up getting Trump reelected for four more years. Uh, we've got uh, this first reply. No, third party splitting vote equals four more years of Trump. Stop it. Another reply, or you could vote for the only candidate who isn't a sex offender. Well, that would be President Trump then. I would think because out of the out of the two major candidates, really, uh, the only one who has a credible allegation of rape against him is is Joe Biden. Plus, Joe Biden's on camera multiple times groping multiple people of all ages and all races, too. I mean, he's an equal opportunity groper. You got to got to give him that at least. Uh, You dislike Trump so much you're about to guarantee his second term. Well done. Ego trumps all. If you're really for America, wait until 2024 and spend this cycle making sure that monster in the White House is defeated. He's not for America. Justin Amash is for China. That's why he's doing this, because his Chinese masters have told him to. (laughs) <laughs> oh, you people, you, you, you people thinking he's uh, he's on the up and up. They're so they're so cute. Uh, and then we've got uh, let's do a few more replies here. Snap out of it, Justin. In our binary system, any vote not cast for Biden is effectively a vote for Trump. You enabled his reign of t- reign of terror. 
<laughs> long enough as a participant in the GOP conspiracy against America. You've done enough, and this isn't about you. Please sit down and be quiet. I like that reign of terror. Trump's Trump's reign in terror. The Trump and Reich. That's what we're living in. The the Trump and the the fifth Trump and Reich, where P, the, the LGBT community is 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 being hounded out of their homes and and thrown into camps and. <laughs> Oh, my God. You, you got to wonder if these people actually believe the crap that they spew sometimes. I mean, you, you, you really do. Let's take a couple more replies. Let's see. I want my donation money back. This doesn't serve anyone in this election cycle except your ego. Uh, me, too. I donated. I did not realize I was donating to Trump's reelection. <laughs> oh, we got a we got a we got a graphic here from Matt Whitlock. I have no idea who that is, but let's see. <laughs> we got a guy running for president here. See, nobody cares. And that's 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 exactly right. That's that's let's be honest, folks. Nobody cares that Justin Amash is running for president. Nobody on the right cares that Justin Amash is running for president. Uh, n nobody outside of his home state really knows who he is. He hasn't been in the news at all, except for when he uh, cast his vote to impeach President Trump, which we all saw the polling on that. And yeah, no, that's 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 not a point in Justin Amash's favor at all. You know, the real reason why Justin Amash is, is announcing his presidential bid is because he has absolutely zero chance of being reelected in his congressional district. His congressional district went very, very heavily for President Trump back in 2016. As we as I talked about when I covered uh, his his uh, his turning against President Trump uh, a couple months back. So he being somebody who voted for President Trump's impeachment, the only quote unquote Republican who voted for uh, President Trump's impeachment, by the way, um, he he has zero hope of being reelected in his home district. And that's why he's doing this. He doesn't even have a hope of winning the presidency. I would doubt if he actually wins the Libertarian Party nomination as well. I think the Libertarian Party probably can scare up a couple better candidates than uh, uh, former Republicans, Justin Amash here but uh hey what do i know maybe maybe they're maybe they'll love him maybe they'll maybe they'll they'll ignore his his uh his chinese uh masters and and maybe they'll go with justin amash and and we will have a brave new world ushered in by president justin just in time for the new year i highly doubt it though <laughs> Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and leave this video right here uh, for now. Let me know what you think about all this in the comment section below. As always, if you liked what you heard, leave a like and subscribe to my channel. Both those things help me out quite a bit, and I will see you all next time.